Oh, uh, excuse me. Listen, uh, I, I don't mean to bother you, but you You are bothering me. I apologize. Apologies don't mean anything. Oh, I just joined Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and I'm supposed to meet my little sister here. But, uh, you know, with, with the bench, there's, there's really nowhere for her to sit. My parents just signed me up for that crap. Thought I needed a positive role model in my life. Uh, you must be Rachel. By birth? I like to be called Bloom. Bloom, that's a pretty name. Bloom Doomstar. That's also pretty. I'm Carl. <laughs> I thought you'd be younger. So, uh, tell me about yourself. I have parents who worry about me, but are too emotionally incapable of giving enough shit to talk to me themselves. Right. Well, why are they worried? It's dumb. Oh, well, come on, tell me. You know, my father always says, you know, problems, they'll eat away at you worse than anything else. Well, except for flesh-eating bacteria. I broke up with my boyfriend. It's not a big deal. That's tough. Well, you know, as my father always said, it's better to have loved and lost than to have to fight a crackhead in an alley. Uh, you know, let me tell you a story. You know, I met a girl about five years ago. It was actually right here. Really? Yes, really. I was just reading my book, minding my own business, when she came waltzing through my life. I was immediately captivated. She was so pretty, so graceful. We spent all day dancing in the park. It was glorious. I couldn't hear the music, but I didn't care. I was in love. I heard my own music, and at first it was great. I didn't expect to dance all day. I tried to keep up with her, but eventually, instead of having a great time with a beautiful girl, I was sweaty and out of breath. Do you ever tire of dancing? So do you see what I'm getting at? No, that story was dumb. But when you really think about it... You're dumb. That story has nothing to do with me. But it does. At first, I thought we would always be connected. But I didn't realize that all she ever did was dance, no matter where she was. She even danced when the Phillies had the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. And I had to decide, do I really want to be with someone who can't decide when it's socially acceptable to dance? So you dumped her. Well, that's not really the point of the story. What do you think the point of the story is? I think... Gusterson? Gusterson? My ex. Also a pretty name. I had to talk to you. I never should have tweeted that you look like a sexy rhino named Blossom. It's alright. I love horns. And in the grand scheme of things, I think I could do worse. Much worse. Let's get out of here. Wait, I'm responsible for you. Uh, what about the whole big brother, little sister thing? If you say that I left early, I'll say that you, like, tried to touch me. Well, as my father always says, bitches be crazy. Do you ever tire of dancing? <laughs>